When you touch type, each key on the top row is pressed by a specific finger on either your left hand or your right hand. On your left hand, the little finger presses the Q. The ring finger presses the W. Your second finger presses the E. And the index finger presses both the R key and the T key. When it comes to reaching the top row keys with your right hand, your little finger presses the P. The ring finger presses the O. The second finger presses the I. And the index finger is responsible for pressing two keys, the U and the Y. The next set of exercises is designed to teach you more about the finger movements that'll help you reach the desired keys on the top row. Let's begin practicing the F to T finger movement exercises so that you'll have a better understanding what I mean. But first, let's do a position check. Make sure your head is erect, not tilted downward, upward, backward, or forward. Your shoulders should be relaxed, elbows close to the body, wrists flat, fingers curved naturally. Your feet should be uncrossed and flat against the floor or footrest. Your eyes must not be looking down at your keyboard. In this exercise, you'll learn the F to R finger movement. This movement is completed using the index finger on your left hand. Simply move the index finger up and slightly to the left until it's over the R key. Press the key and then return your index finger to its home row position on the letter F. In this exercise, you'll learn the F to T finger movement. This movement is completed using the index finger on your left hand. Simply move the index finger up and to the right until it's over the T key. Press the key and then return your index finger to its home row position on the letter F. In this exercise, you'll learn the D to E finger movement. This movement is completed using the second finger on your left hand. Simply move the second finger up until it's over the E key. Press the key and then return your second finger to its home row position on the letter D. 